Hey YouTube, Eilish60 here. I had a video request on how to change the transmission fluid in these scooter transmissions. Now as you can see, here's the engine, here's the transmission, it is a geared down transmission. Um, behind here is a clutch that looks just like that. And as you can see there's four bolt holes there, and then there's one, two, three, four, one behind here, um, bolt holes, and it just goes onto there. There's a cup, it's a round cup that um, goes straight onto, onto, the, onto the clutch. So, today I'm going to show you how to change the transmission fluid on these um, little transmissions, and what transmission fluid to use. That was also a question. Um, uh, the first thing you want to do is just inspect it, inspect it for leaks, you know, look around. This one has, I have Permatex all the way around. It's a uh, high tolerance oil Permatex, it's ter Permatex black, um, all the way around. And I noticed I am missing a screw here. Um, now, what I actually did with this when I built the scooter up is... I had no bolts for this transmission, so this transmission was sitting in two pieces. Um, I pulled it all apart, you know, rebuilt it, um, cleaned it all up. When I was putting it back together, I had no um, screws. It actually uses screws. Not bolts like this, it uses screws. Let me get one. It uses screws like that. Or all the way around the transmission. Um, and I don't like screws for transmissions. I like bolts because they hold on better. Um, now, I couldn't really find any bolts that fit this for the price that I wanted them. So what I did was I went around and drilled all the holes bigger and tapped a bigger hole in the back so these bolts would fit. Um, these ones actually weren't bolts, these were screws. Welded a bolt on, chopped the screw head off, and now it's a bolt, a real long bolt. This one I had to customize because it's real long has to go all the way into the transmission that's like a bolt that long you really can't find those a thread all that's that one's a thread all so I put a bolt on the end of one of these screws that had bolt threads and chopped this the screw head off welded that uh, bolt on and works just fine now uh, I don't recommend that but that's what I did at the time um, so let's get on um, Get away from this randomness and get on to changing the transmission fluid. Okay, let me sit you up here. I've got you on a stand. Alright. There's your transmission. We'll zoom you in here. It's probably close enough. Now as you can see, here's your bottom bolt. Here's your top bolt with a breather in it. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to get uh, something to drain the f uh, transmission fluid into. I actually found a piece, or a, it was two uh, glue glue pens, I guess. Um, that's big enough for the, the oil because these little transmissions really don't hold that much oil. Um, now, I've heard... Uh, about what some people put in these little transmissions and um, it's a lighter oil and I, I'm fine with lighter oil it's just um, what I have here and it, it's what I use all the time for these I've done quite a bit of quite a bit of rebuilds for these little transmissions um, I might need something different to drain the oil into I'm not sure yet I should just be able to fit this up inside here. Just like that. That'll work just fine right there. Perfect. Bend it around and I've got a little place for all the oil to go down into on the other side down there. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, transmission oil. Um, I like to use something heavier in these and it works just fine and it... Uh, uh, proves better for these transmissions um, because I run these around a lot at high RPMs 
Um, so I actually run Valvoline 7W90 gear oil. It's for, you know, like cars. That's what I run in mine. And it proves to be just fine. So now you want to get something to take this bottom bolt out with. Let's see if I can stay out of the, the way of the camera here on videoing this. open here. It's a real tight spot to put any type of tool. I'm going to use these, <laughs> these uh, funny pliers here. These pliers have a story behind them. Kind of a funny story, but I'm not going to get into that story because a lot of YouTubers don't like it when I get random, so I won't get random. Um, let's just put it this way. They have a story. And I did not do that. But yeah, they've got a story. Loosen this bolt up here. I hope I'm staying out of the way of this. Yeah, my knee's right in the way. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can stay away from that camera lens. Loosen that up until it drops out. Just like that. This gear oil, it looks dirty. Yep, it's dirty. Now what? How does this gear oil get dirty? I'm not sure. Um, I do run this around in the dirt though, so that would probably be the reason that it gets dirty. Like I said, these little transmissions do not hold that much oil. Um, if you want to have the oil drain out quicker, you can preheat um, this case. That is not recommended. That is not recommended it is not uh, I suggest not doing that uh, but I've I've heard of a few guys doing that it's a stupid thing to do but you know some people don't have <laughs> a lack of brains to speak of hence these pliers <laughs> once again there's a story behind that um, I'm just going to pull this top head bolt out so it'll drain faster. And it's almost done draining actually. Well, this is normally clear oil and it's a little um, a little black. Now I'm going to guess um, another reason why it could be black is when I rebuilt it. Um, pop that up there. Uh, when I rebuilt it, it was a little dirty on the inside. I tried to clean out as best as I can, but I couldn't get under, um, you know, the, under the gears. Um, so it could be from that. Uh, it could be from the black permatex. Some of that black permatex could have come loose in there and, you know, got ground between the gears. It's not going to hurt the gears. Um, but it could be from that, too. Uh, it looks like we're pretty much drained off here. We're just going to be dripping now. I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and take... Ouch. Sitting, my, sitting on my hurt ankle, that's not a very smart thing to do. Uh, I'm going to take that um, piece of plastic out and stuff this um, under there. Good old terry cloth. And move that up carefully. Stuff this terry cloth under there so that starts soaking up the, the drippage. Here's your transmission fluid. It's a little dirty there, as you can see. Let's see if I can get you a good view of that. That should be a good view. Um, a little bit of just a little bit of metal shavings. Uh, metal shavings are from when I rebuilt it. Um, I um, when I cleaned up the gears. Um, I used a little sandpaper I didn't have my wire buffer at at, uh, at disposal for me to use so I used a little sandpaper and the sandpaper I guess I didn't get out all of the the metal I actually sanded away a little bit there um, I 
guess I didn't get all of it out. So that would be that'd be the reason for that. Um, also, once again, it could be from the Permatex because the Permatex, some of this Permatex actually has brass in it. Um, that would be the high, really high heat um, oil uh, oil resistant Permatex. I'm not sure if this Permatex had it. It looks like it does if you look real close at the Permatex. Um, so it could be from the Permatex once again. Your box should be just fine though. We're going to go ahead and thread this bolt back up into here. And you know what? While I'm threading this, I'm going to get a little... Uh, let me go ahead and start filling this up and tell you the rest of the story a little in a little bit. So here's 75, 75 W90. That's why I was running these. Um, that's what I've done done for all the all the years I've worked on these. I've worked on these for a while. I just never really made any videos about them. And I hiccuped again. I didn't want to hiccup like that on my videos. Um, just picky. So there's really no perfect way to fill these up. Um, there's really no way of knowing how much fluid is in here, you know, um, after you fill it, you know, there's going to be, almost guarantee, there's going to be um, a little bit of transmission fluid that comes out of that breather in the top there. Um, so we're going to start filling this up here. So while I'm filling it up, I'm going to continue the story of the pliers. Um, somebody's walking above me. I'm not sure, but um, now here's a trick with filling these transmissions up because it's really hard to just fill them up because I have that tiny little hole, and with my scooter I have stuff above it so I can't just tip it over and just, you know, squeeze the bottle and just really fill it up. So I have to slowly fill it up, and you set it on the very corner of the hole to where it's going to fill out and around the hole, out and around it, and. Uh, slowly fill it that way and then from time to time you'll get an air bubble and it'll totally stop any transmission fluid from going in like that I don't know if you can see that or not tip it up here um, but it'll get a, a bubble from time to time and it'll just totally stop any transmission fluid from going in Let's see like I'm filling it here I'm going to purposely get a bubble to come see it does that and you have to wait for it to Pop and all that fun stuff, but then you just continue to fill it. Fill it until you think it's full. Um, I don't know the perfect ounces to these. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to stop before, or like right when you're halfway past this little gear here. I'm pretty. I'm not sure if you can see or not. I'm going to tip it back so I know you guys can see. Um, let me look at the camera. Make sure you can see. Yeah, you can see tip you down a little bit. Um, so I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to fill like that much of the transmission, but I always uh, fill it up maybe a little bit past that uh, because I, I never want to run these transmissions um, low. You never want to run any transmission low on fluid. Um, so you continue to fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, blah, 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 blah. All right, to finish up this video, um, which I need to do. Um, uh, get down here. You're going to want to take your top bolt there and snug it down real good. Not too much, but not too little. And that'll be good. Now, as you can see, I've got fluid coming out of that breather hole. Um, now, this is what I've always had problems with. It seems like every time I fill one of these up, I always uh, tend to overfill it, which I'd rather overfill it than underfill it, personally. Um, more pe most people, or some people, would have it the other way around, but I'd rather overfill it than underfill it, because on these little transmissions, it's okay to have just a little too much uh, fluid in there. That's not going to hurt anything, but having too little in those is going to hurt something. Um, so that's just what I tend to do. Um, now what I always do after I've done, I've done uh, filling these up, um, there's always going to be overflow 
um, seems to be, see it, it's already flowing over again. Um, it seems that, like it's, these always have overflow. Um, so I take a paper towel, um, today I'm going to substitute with this and later put a paper towel in there. Um, but take a paper towel, you know, smush it in between there. Um, get something on there that's going to be absorbent and just go for a ride, just leave that in there. Um, and just ride it around for long periods of time. Um, to test it and make sure it doesn't have any leaks, simply enough. Um, because, or not, no, what am I saying? Well, I guess you could ride around, make sure you don't have any leaks if you just rebuilt your transmission. I'm uh, sorry, I was thinking about something different. Um, okay, what I was trying to say was run it around unt until it stops leaking, um, which this one a while back did. It totally stopped leaking. Um, there's no more fluid coming out. And I guess that was optimal um, how much fluid is supposed to be in there. Um, which is that much, which really is not that much. It's ooh, like really small amount. It's maybe um, maybe an ounce, maybe an ounce and a half, maybe two ounces of oil. Uh, I probably put three, three and a half ounces of oil in there during this video. But I'm just gonna put a paper towel up inside there and you know call it good. So that's how you change. Um, the fluid in these little transmissions on these scooters. This is the fluid I use. 75W90. Um, do not use engine oil because I personally engine oil is too thin. Um, if you have nothing else, um, I, can, I don't condone it. I don't. I won't say to use it. So I, that's where that ends. Um, but you know. That's what I use. High speed, high torque, and high horsepower conditions. Valvoline. Alright. That's how you do it. If you guys want to say anything else on scooters, on motorcycles, cars, lawnmowers, rideable and push, Anything you guys want to see, please, I strongly encourage you to go down there and leave me a comment or click on my page link or my, my channel, leave me a PM. Either way you guys want to get a hold of me, um, do so and uh, let me know what you guys want, what you guys want to see. Um, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to show you how to do things. Um, I do battery work also, um, lead acid batteries, um, you know, stuff like that, just kind of everything all at once. Um, so anything you want to see, just comment. Uh, I would greatly also appreciate it if you went down here, hit the little thing that looks like that, you know, thumbs up, love that. The thumbs up is your contribute to saying thank you for making the vid or um, awesome video um, just please go down there give me a thumbs up that'd be great comment rate and subscribe see you later YouTube bye